Hey guys, well here's the question. Do you struggle throwing this downhill? Uh, that's one of the things that I'm seeing a lot with players is we get up to a hole like this. This is hole number 10 at Inverness and we're just going to want to go down the hill and to the right. And what happens is most people don't think about what kind of effect downhill has on their throws. And so uh, I'm going to help you just understand a little bit more about what happens when you throw downhill. I think people have a better understanding of throwing uphill, but throwing downhill can really give you a little bit of a, a, a tricky situation until you understand what's going on. So uh, let's just uh, take a few throws and let's talk about it. Okay, one of the things you got to realize is that your disc is going to speed up, so you don't need to throw as hard, but that's going to change your rhythm. It's also going to change the flight of the disc, because remember, as a disc speeds up, it wants to turn, but if you're throwing your regular shot, and let's say it's got, I'm going to use forehand for this one. If, let's say I'm throwing a forehand flat, and I throw it out like this, and I know it's going to veer to the right like that, uh, normally, well, if I'm throwing downhill, that same throw, I throw it, it's going to speed up and what that speed is going to do is it's going to hold and want it to turn a little bit before it finally catches up and starts to fade to the right. So uh, a normal throw flat ground is going to go here and out here where a throw downhill, if I follow the terrain of the land, which is what you generally want to do when throwing downhill, if I throw here, it's actually going to hold, hold, hold and then go. So a lot of times my miss is going to be, I'm going to pull it over to the left or it's going to continue farther down straight than I think it should. The disc is not going to act the same way it's going to act if you throw it flat because it's introducing speed. And think about it, whenever you introduce speed, it's going to increase its flippiness. Uh, sort of a quick way to think about it. So what I need to remember, if I throw normal, like I was going to throw flat, First of all, you don't hit the tree. So the shot I need to make is I need to throw out with just a little bit of a turn to get around this tree right in the middle and then have it fade back. Well, I've got a reactor that's pretty stable. It's, it should do that pretty naturally. But what happens if I throw that normal shot is that it's gonna carry more turn than I expect and I constantly hit these trees on the left because it's actually incorporating more turn than I'm anticipating. So I actually need to throw this flatter or maybe with a touch of hyzer just to keep it out here to counteract that extra turn. So let me throw one like I would just normally throw if I was throwing flat and needed to make that shot to go down there and turn. See, it just held that turn longer than I anticipated, longer than I wanted it to. It just kept going this way because it's going downhill and it's speeding up. So what that means, same kind of disc, I'm going to have to throw it out and flatter and it's going to do the turning for me and hopefully then hook up and move back to the basket. Okay, I didn't give it quite enough, but you see it started to, but I laid it a little flat and so it went, went, went and then it broke off. I need something in between those two. So I'm throwing, I'm gauging down the hill, but I'm pretty much going to try to throw this flat. Just miss that tree. It turns and then it picks up with its stability and breaks back to the right. That's what I needed to figure out is not to do my normal throw as if I was flat, but also not get too much over here, but just anticipate that disc because it's going downhill is going to keep turning a little bit longer than I expected. It's simple to understand in your head. It's hard to make your body and your mind put that all together and make a good throw. But so standing here, just wanting to get that good release right down the hill. I hope that helps. Quick tip, hopefully when you get out on the course, you have to throw downhill, you'll be thinking, this is gonna speed up. It's gonna wanna be a little more flippy, so I have to adjust.
Guys, I hope that helps. Hey, send me some comments about some things you'd like to learn or know about that I may be able to help out. Uh, I'm trying to do these in between doing all kinds of other stuff. It's been a kind of a crazy time right now, but I really do want to help you all enjoy this game because it is so good. It is such a good game and such an amazing opportunity to get out in the woods, out in the fields, and play with some of your best friends and just have a great time. So I would love to hear your comments. Uh, let me know if there's something I can help you with, and uh, I hope to see you out on the course. Well, guys, I broke my number one rule. I forgot to count my discs, throwing from up there for this one. I have no idea how many discs I threw. I just grabbed a bunch of them and came out here, and uh, I'm going to be paying the price for it. Count your discs before you start throwing. It'll make your life a lot easier.